In this video, I will show you how to swap BNB to ETH in Trust Wallet. So let's jump straight into it. First, what you want to do is open up Trust Wallet on your device. And I do apologize if the screen goes blank. It's just when you enter your passcode, if you're recording your screen, it's going to go blank. So once you're logged in, you'll be taken to your main screen like this. If you look at the top, you've got some options. And what you want to do is click the blue swap button. Now, what you want to do is just change these options. So you can see at the moment it's set to Bitcoin. So what I'm going to do is just change this. So the top option, if you press onto the Bitcoin and what you want to do, you've got a search box up here. So I'm going to go ahead and type BNB. And what I'm going to do is use Smart Chain. So BNB Cash. And then underneath in the bottom option, of course, I'm going to press onto that and change this to ETH, which is going to bring up all our different Ethereum coins. So now we've got our two coins selected. So this is how to swap from BNB to Ethereum. And if you want to swap this around, just press the two arrows in the middle down here to swap them around if you want to convert Ethereum to BNB. Um, and what you want to do is where it says you pay, you just want to put how many coins you want to swap. And that's going to calculate your return, how much Ethereum you're going to get. And if you look underneath, you're going to see further details, like for example, the provider fee and some more information. So if you're happy to go ahead, all you want to do is click the blue preview swap button. And as you can see, I'm getting an error message just because I don't have any BNB chain coins at the moment. But what you do is click on preview swap and that's going to come up with a quick summary of the swap. And if you're happy to go ahead, you can then go ahead and swap your BNB for ETH. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it. If you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.